I don't know, I just don't know. Um, my milk has come in, I think, and if you know, you know. Okay, I am back, finally, after a massive break from YouTube, like two months. I don't even know how that happened. Well, I do. We moved house, we went traveling in Australia, Sam started a new job, I'm growing a baby, Sunny got chicken pox, oh, my camera needed fixing. I don't know, like, loads happened. I just didn't find the time slash feel like drawn to making YouTube videos slash didn't have my camera so couldn't even do it. I don't know what happened in that time but like somehow two months has gone past since I made a video so this is my 33 weeks pregnancy video I want to say genuinely I don't really know how pregnant I am. I have not been counting. Like, when I was pregnant for the first time with Jack, I literally knew how pregnant I was to the day. And now I have no idea. I know that I'm more than 30 weeks and I know when my due date is. Basically, in my mind, I'm always like, once you get past 30 weeks, it's basically a countdown till D-Day. And uh, yeah, it just kind of feels quite imminent now, especially because it's summer now and like it's warm and I kind of in my mind was always associating this pregnancy and this baby with like hotness and sweatiness and now it's coming. Like this weekend it's going to be like 32 degrees. I'm just feeling like quite big but not that big. But yeah, like feeling pregnant now in a way that like I haven't felt up to this point and getting tired and a bit breathless. Yeah, on the whole, feeling good. Yeah, we had a bit of a scare when Sunny got chicken pox a couple of weeks ago because my mum couldn't remember if I'd had it and so I had to go and get a blood test. Luckily, everything was fine. It's been pretty smooth. I mean, compared to the first trimester when I just felt rough. Um, since Australia, which was amazing. Um, oh yeah, we also went camping, and we're going camping next weekend with Jack's school, and that's like our last trip. And even that, I'm like slightly thinking, oh god, like it's gonna be vaguely uncomfortable, but um, no, it'll be fun. I guess it's just flying by. First time round, you kind of like tracking it and you know indulging in things that you definitely can't do now like I can't go to like pregnancy yoga I've been to one class a couple of weeks ago and it was blissful and amazing and I promised myself that I would go back again and I just haven't found the time as you can imagine I am not really fully prepped for the baby um, what I have done is gone through all the clothes that I kept from Jack and Sunny and taking out the things that I want to have ready for this baby, so um, that's good. But I need to wash them, and then I like got some toys that I want to wash, and um, need to get the crib from my parents because basically we're going to use and we have used for our other babies the crib that has been like passed down in our family for generations that my dad slept in when he was a baby. The other thing I need to do is like get ready with nappies, so um, I am going to be using different nappies this time round I think compared to last time round. I'm planning, and if anyone has any suggestions then please let me know, I'm planning to use basically in the very early days muslins with like a wool wrap and then move on to probably just pre-folds with a wool wrap. But yeah, I've got loads of nappies secondhand that I've got from Facebook and from friends and stuff, but I need to analyze them. Um, so yeah, I need to do some research into that and work out the best ways to do that. But that's really exciting. And then beyond like clothes and toys and nappies and stuff, I really want to get myself ready in the like birthing space. So you know, I really want to watch hypnobirthing stuff and like get that back into my consciousness. I practiced hypnobirthing last time with Siobhan from the Positive Birth Company and that was wonderful. Yeah, I want to start watching some of her videos and listening to her app and just like getting my head, yeah, into that space. Last time I had loads of mantra that I'd painted and stuck up around the wall with like different birthing kind of quotes and positive affirmations so I want to dig those up and I want to do more of those and like get my playlists ready and just like prep for birth because for Sunny and I wrote a blog post on this and I'll link below like I did so much prep I literally felt like I was doing an exam or something it's hard to think about maternity leave and like 
resting and stuff when I run my own thing, thinking about like if I'm going to take time off and it's just really really hard to do that when you're self-employed and you have your own business. Different from my other two pregnancies I was still employed by a company so I just had like the maternity leave and that was like very clear cut but this time around it's going to be really different so I'm just hoping that I'm able to like take pressure off myself and relax and take the necessary time and space that I think I'll need. I might not want or need to um, stop doing stuff and like creating content but I might do and I don't know, I just don't know. So I'm just like going to see what happens basically but I'm very open to taking a big chunk of time off from being online but I'm also very open to like carrying on as normal so I'm just going to totally see how I feel. Things like commuting to meetings and to events is wearing me out. I'm trying to like scale those back. We're going camping um, in, in a two weeks time and I just got back from a press trip to Cornwall to the Eden Project which was amazing, seriously amazing and just so wonderful to like have a little bit of time for me, like what I was saying before about finding time to relax. I like got to Cornwall and napped and that was just so, so nice. So um, that was lovely. Um, what else? Yeah, like my milk has come in, I think. And if you know, you know how you can tell that. So that's exciting and definitely like means that birth is kind of, you know, happening. Like, cause that doesn't happen earlier on in your pregnancy at all, that comes in the later stages. Feeling really happy that we're in our new home. There's loads that we need to do. That's a little bit daunting slash overwhelming, but equally like, I'm just reminding myself and keep telling myself like there's no rush. We can do everything really slowly. We're gonna be in this house for a long time. And um, yeah, like, you know, it's more important that we're calm and relaxed and in a good place than like we have the walls painted. Anyway, I'm rambling and getting a bit out of breath. I'm going to show you my bump and then probably sign off. I need to make the kids some food. They're just downstairs at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video, even if I don't know how pregnant I actually officially am. I have this really weird like citrusy taste in my mouth the whole time. It's like, I don't know if it's acid reflux, um, but it's really unpleasant. Like I've like permanently got like the taste of orange juice in my mouth. Anyway, um, here's my bump. Yeah. Also, um, a couple of people have asked me about pregnancy essentials and all that stuff. Genuinely, the only thing I've been doing is putting on some like body butter in the evenings or coconut oil on my bump. Um, but other than that, I haven't got any of the kit. Um, yeah, I kind of just fold up a pillow sometimes and put it underneath my belly. I've been mainly living in dungarees that still amazingly fit me and my Lucy and Yaks. But yeah. That's about it folks, thank you so much for watching. I won't leave it as long next time to make another video. I'll see you all soon, bye.